Hello, I'm Trent Noasad with Case IH. In this video, we're going to walk through the steps of calibrating a Precision Air 5 Series air card. Calibration is a very important step when using any air card, including the Precision 5 Series air card. Doing a proper calibration and taking the time to do it pays you big benefits in terms of your rate being more accurate to what you've desired. And actually, a calibration value is required for any dry application. It is a very important figure that needs to be used by the computer to calculate your rate as speed changes or as you change product application rate. And in fact, if we turn the monitor on and try to engage it or engage our meter drive, this air card has not been calibrated yet and we'll get this warning. To make calibration easy and seamless, we do have a meter calibration button. This brings us up the meter calibration page, which contains a wizard, as well as a recording of what the actual calb numbers that are presently in the card. As you can see, this air card has not been ever been calibrated, so the numbers in there are zero. To launch the wizard, we tap that button, and it brings us to this page. There are two options for calibration. One is an all meter cal, the other one is a single meter cal. The single meter cal will just use output or displacement from the leftmost meter on the air cart of whatever tank we select. The full meter cal will use displacement or product metered out of all the meters that are in that tank that are currently being used. It is highly recommended that for the first time when we calibrate the air cart, whether it be the first time in the season, the first time we're running that crop, first time we're running that specific variety of that crop, that we use a full meter calibration. The single meter calibration option has a benefit when we want to check our rates from day to day just to confirm our calibration numbers, or if we have previously done an all meter calibration with that specific crop type and variety, and say have switched out of that variety and have come back to it, to continue seeding a seeding operation. We can use the single meter cal just to verify that. Once we have selected the cal type we're going to run, and today we're going to run a full meter cal, we then need to select the tanks that we want to cal. This is a two tank air cart. We can calibrate one tank at a time, or we can calibrate both tanks. On our larger air carts that have three or four tanks, we can calibrate one or two at a time or three at a time or four at a time. It is up to you. Once we selected the tanks that we want to calibrate from, we simply press the next button. This brings up our meter calibration checklist. These are the aspects that we want to ensure we do before we actually perform the meter calibration process. And we'll show these to you in more detail right now. Now that we've entered the calibration mode, we want to make sure that we check off the checklist that we recently saw on this video. The first thing we want to make sure is that we have the proper cartridges installed in our meter housings for our application. This will be covered in a different video. The next thing we've done here is we've actually removed our meter closeout door and replaced it with our calibration bag. The next step is we want to make sure that our gate selector handle is in the right detented spot. Currently, you can see it engaged in the top spark. This engages our cleanout door. We definitely want to have that closed for calibration. You also notice two other detent spots. This is a double shoot air cart, so there are two runs. And these are designed to allow us to select which run we want to drop this product, this metered product, into while we're operating. Currently, right now, I have selected the top rung. So if we were in the field metering this product with the fan operating, we'd be putting it into the top rung. But for calibration, we want to make sure that this meter, this selection handle, is not engaged in any of these spots. And there is a convenient spot to place it while we're doing calibration. Now the next step is to prime our meter cartridges. But before we prime our meter cartridges, we want to make sure that we have engaged our tank shutoff. All Case IH Precision Air 5 Series air carts come with a tank isolation or shutoff mechanism. On this cart, and all model year 20 and newer products, we use a slide gate. On our older products, we use a shutoff door, which is actuated on the other side. 
To open this slide gate, we simply remove that pin, that securing pin. Using the tool provided, we crank open the door and fill our meter cartridges. If we run into any issues in the field where our meter cartridges that we picked weren't right or we have any blockages, this shutoff device allows us to quickly close off the meters from the tank, isolate the meters from the tank, now allowing us to remove those cartridges and change them or clean them if needed. Now that our meters are primed, we're ready to calibrate. We simply turn on our tank switch that we want to calibrate, so in this case tank one, and we press and hold our calibration button. We want to dispense enough product so that we have a good calibration. So we want to dispense at least 15 pounds of product into our calibration bag. More is always better. Now once we've done that, we can remove our calibration bag and weigh the contents of the bag. Once again, for a more accurate calibration, you want to do this multiple times, and three is at least a good minimum number to try. Now that we've finished metering out product into our calibration bag and weighing that product, we now have a weight to come back into the monitor. Now back at our monitor, we can see that we metered or ran through 120, a little over 120 revolutions of that meter roller. Now that we have our weight, we can hit next and enter in our measured weight. In this case, we'll enter in 25 pounds. Hit OK and proceed to the next button. That now gives us our new calibration value. We can either back out and recalibrate. It is highly recommended that you go through a number of calibrations, at least three, for any given seed type and variety. The more times we calibrate the product at the meters, the more, the more accurate that calibration value will be. If we're satisfied with this value, we then hit finish, and that closes out our wizard. And if I go back to the meter calibration tab, we can see that our meter cal value is inserted into the monitor. And if we go back to the run page and hit the button, turn the clutch on for that particular tank, the tank will now function.